Dogs are a bond between strangers. Let's talk about it. In this video, we meet two lovely dog owners, sort of the earth people, each with their own story. A story of a rare dying breed, a terrier, one from Ireland, known for its loyalty and courage, and one from Scotland, rich with heritage and spirited charm. Join me as we explore the fascinating histories and the unique qualities of these two dogs and the special bond they share with their owners. Enjoy. Yeah. 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 Oh, he's friendly. Oh, is he? He's, he's got a mask on by law. Oh, yeah, he's all right. What's his name? Rocco. Rocco? Yeah. Hello, Rocco. <laughs> Hello, you beauty. Yeah. Yeah, my brother, 50 pound Staffy. Yeah. 50 pound. Wow. Big old beast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he my was auntie. Lovely. He yeah. was lovely. They're the best dogs. They're the nanny dogs, you see. The guardians. And, um, Do you like him, Fee? Yeah. Do you like that big boy? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's what's your the breed of your dog? It's an old Irish breed called an Irish Wheaton Terrier. An Irish Wheaton Terrier. Yeah, the colour of ripe in wheat. Costas used to have them for kind of, you know. Is it is it a pest dog or a? Yes, all purpose farm dog. Kill oh. a rat. Yeah, kill. All the Guinness, babysit the children. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What did he just say? It pours the Guinness. That's my kind of dog. Yeah. But yeah, it's the oldest Irish breed. The Kerry Blues come out from any Irish Terriers. Yeah. Oh, that's right. beautiful. Yeah, Keeping the breed going. Pretty rare. Okay, yeah, we used to breed yeah. them. But my yeah. daughter used to show me. Hello, <laughs> beauty. <laughs> used to breed them and show them and break fun, you know, take the kids. But she's the last one I've got now. She's 12, so. Yeah. Is it is it a dying breed, is it? It's endangered. It's only yeah. About, when you think it's 10,000 labs bred a year, yeah. there's only 300 of them. Right. Know, so. right. It's a specialised breed, I guess. Yeah. I suppose as farming goes redundant, Crofting all goes out. You, you don't need go, them, yeah, do you? Yeah. Beautiful yeah. dog, though. Yeah, she's a good girl. Yeah. Good for 12. Yeah, 12. How old's your boy? Uh, well, I walk this dog. It's not my dog, but he's, he's two. Oh, he's only a baby, didn't he? Yeah. He's only a puppy, aren't you? He's yeah. Only a little puppy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Loves the attention. Yeah, he's got a country nature and so he's yeah. just full of love, isn't yeah. he? Well, it's, it's yeah. the law and well, yeah, a, a few a few a few bad people spoiled it for the rest of us. Well that's the trouble, isn't it? It's yeah. not your dogs, it's the owners, isn't it? Yeah. If you get bad owners, yeah. they train them up to be nasty. to be aggressive. Yeah, yeah. 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 They train them for a job. Take a picture of him, he's Yeah, lovely. absolutely. That's... So what, what what would you call him? Uh, uh, with a breed? Yeah. Well, it's not actually a breed. It's a uh, it's a it's a size of an American bulldog. He he is an American bulldog. American bulldog. He's lovely. Yeah. Big old boy. My son, I think my son's got two. <laughs> my son's right got down. Two, my son's got two. Um, uh, I forget what the cats called. It's a funny breed. They're almost a bit wild. Bengal cats. Bengal cats. But yeah. He's always fancied an American bulldog. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. Said, well, they probably go well with the cats because they probably make friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're absolutely yeah. brilliant with cats. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They love everything. Yeah. It's, again, it's the way they're treated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they're they kind of dogs where you, what you put in them, they'll yeah. give a hundred times back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you put in fear, trauma, yeah. destruction. You love, you get loads of love oh, absolutely. It's like people, isn't it? Yeah. You, know, you, yeah. Give, you give people lots of love and respect, you get it all back. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's the great. thing with these dogs. And that's why people get the wrong idea of them because the ones that have attacked people, yeah. that's because they're fear, trauma, yeah. and, and everything yeah, into them. Yeah. Fags yeah, 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 mad, yeah. They, yeah. Cutting their ears off. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Well, well, well it was nice well. to meet you. Nice meet you. Sorry, what was it again? A Wheaton Terrier. A Wheaton, Irish, Irish Wheaton Terrier. Yeah, Google it. Yeah, I will. Yeah, Google yeah. yeah. All right, cheers. See ya. The soft-coated Wheaton Terrier was considered a poor man's dog in Ireland, as the common people were unable to own hounds of value. The soft-coated Wheaton Terrier, Wheaton for short, was bred as a farm dog and vermin hunter, guarding the farm. The origins of the Wheaton are unclear because detailed records were not kept, but this breed is recognised as developing in the 1700s, giving rise to more stylized breeds, such as the Kerry Blue, the Irish Terrier, 
and the Glen of Amal Terriers. Despite this breed's long history in Ireland, it did not gain breed recognition until 1973 and has fell out of favour. On average, only 300 of these dogs registered every year. Beautiful Irish Terrier. Now, the next interaction, it was a rainy day and I was taking shelter under a tree. And this woman comes and takes shelter under the tree as well with this lovely dog. And as we get talking, I do the usual, oh, name of your dog, age of your dog, and then I like to guess the breed. In this particular time, I couldn't quite put my finger on the breed. Now, I thought it was maybe a, a cross, a Westie and a, a Yorkie. So I asked her, oh, well, what's the breed of your dog? The conversation that ensued was really interesting. Enjoy. These dogs were known as mustard and pepper terriers. Yeah. If you look at his coat, he's got a bit of red in it. Yeah. So he's a mustard. Right? Yeah. And if he had black in it, he'd be a, a, a pepper. So they were known as mustard and pepper terriers. So Dandy Dinmont, this farmer in this book, had these terriers, and they were known in the book as Dandy Dinmont's terriers. Yeah. And the book was very popular back then. And they just became known as Dandy Dinmont's Terriers. Oh, right, and after yeah. a while, they dropped the S off. Right. They were the third breed that was registered with the Kennel Club yeah. when the Kennel Club first formed. And they actually go back to about 1730. And originally they were owned by gypsies, travellers, poachers. Yeah. You know, sort of oh, the right. underclass. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Duke of Belcloof is yeah. way back in Scotland, whose chief clansman, he, because he had them, he gave them the tartan. Yeah. So they had their own tartan. They've got their own tartan. And they're the only dog that's got permission to wear their own tartan. Okay. Hamish, get down. Okay. Is that, is that the tartan he's got on there? Yeah. Black and white tartan. Last year, 2023, there was only, 2023, there was only 103 puppies born. Yeah. I look at the Kennel Club, they don't breed well. I look at the Kennel Club from time to time to see, you know, how many are, and there was a litter last year, and how many do you think there were in the litter? Well, probably, is there one, one, one or two, one. yeah. He was one of three. Yeah, so, so they, they don't, don't have large litters. They don't, so, and they've fallen, they fell out of favour after the last war. Because right. all the kennels, of, for a lot of breeds, because of the war, Yeah. They just basically stopped breeding, Stop breeding dogs, dogs. because they it's, weren't required. Well, and they then, probably couldn't feed themselves, let alone a dog. Exactly. So, uh, and then after the war, there was the resurgence of gum dogs, Labrador, Spaniels, all yeah. that kind of thing. Farming dogs. But these dogs just basically fell off a cliff, and yeah. they've been, they've been, you know, depleted ever since. Yeah. But they are the most. They're the, he's a lovely character. Yeah. Yeah. Checking, How old did you say he was? He's four and a half. Four and a half. Yeah. yeah. So a long way to go yet. In October. Because terriers, they live for a long time. That's I know, one thing I know. I'm planning on going when he goes. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with the dog. Yeah. You know, yeah. When the dog goes, that's me done. You know, me and the dog. When he when he goes, I'm going with him. So I'm just trying to think. He's done. Never ask a lady her age. Well, it's a dangerous place. <laughs> it is a dangerous moment. place now. It is. But anyway, we've we've got our name? dogs. My name's Dan. I'm Lisa. Lisa. Yeah. Lovely yeah. To meet. yeah. Lovely to meet you too. And lovely to meet, sorry, what was his name? Hamish. Hamish, of course. Scottish name. Scottish name, of course. Yeah. I can trace his pedigree back to 1842, and that great, 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 great grandmother, whatever it is, her name was Vixen, and she was actually owned by Walter Scott. What? Wow. You so yeah. you are a descendant of the dog of Walter Scott? Yeah. And she was wow. called Vixen. The mother was Jin oh, the mother was Vixen, and the father was called Old Ginger. Old Ginger. Old Ginger. Although books have been written about many breeds of dog, the Dandy Dinmont Terrier remains the only dog breed that is named based on a character in a book. Dandy Dinmont was a character in the book Guy Mannering, written in 1815 by Sir Walter Scott, a farmer with six long, low-slung terrier dogs that kept his farm clear of vermin. Although the name Dandy Dinmont was not coined until after the book's publication in 1815, the breed itself was described as early as the 16th century and was appreciated by farmers 
Romany and noblemen alike for its ability to hunt not just rats and mice, but otters and badgers as well. The Dandy Dinmont Terrier is an intelligent, tenacious and independent dog, bred to be hunters rather than lap dogs, and they require vigorous activity on a daily basis. This is a rare breed with an average of only 300 puppies born each year worldwide. Yeah. All right, we'll see you later, Hamish. <laughs> see ya. Have a good walk. Nice yeah, nice to talk to you. See ya. Enjoy your walk. Dogs have a magical way of turning strangers into friends. Whether it's in the heart of the city, in a town park, in a village square, in the middle of the countryside, they bring people together through a shared love and companionship. Strangers to friends, thanks to dogs. Thank you.